Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be doing an 18 plus pick a card. So if you are not 18 plus, please click off this video now. So we have all the groups today. We are going to be doing a intimate pick a card. This is going to be your intimate life in the year of 2021. So this could be a partner, this could be just a kind of fling, this could be very random encounters, you know, with people that you're really interested in, your crush, you know, we're going to see what's going to go on. So we have group number one, group two, group three and group four. So please choose your group now and let's get started. Let's have a look at the tea. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. So let's get started with your reading. So we have the Oracle cards here first and then we're gonna have a look into the tarot. So the first card we have out is Rose Quartz. So this card is obviously about love. It's about unconditional feeling. And I'm going to read a little bit of this text because I feel like it's really accurate for you guys. So this says, when you feel like you always have to be the one to have it all figured out, to work the hardest, to hold it all together for everyone else, Rose Quartz gives us a pink cashmere cover platform to be soft, sweet and open to spirit. Take care of your heart. Who needs it? The overly self-critical, sentient spiritual beings who love deeply, those in the healing arts or those who want to be. Where to put it? In spaces you want to zone safe and sacred held with both hands to your heart with the utmost loving kindness. I love this, what a beautiful crystal. So I feel like for you guys, it's really about your heart chakra. It's about you working with your heart chakra, working with the deeper parts of the way you love, the way you communicate, the way you connect with others. And I do feel in the year of 2021, there's gonna be a lot of healing relationships coming towards you. And obviously healing relationships doesn't have to be romantic. It can be friendship as well. So we're gonna see what that's all about. So let's have a look at your other cards. So let's see, we have Fate, beautiful. I love that. We have Cleansing. Let's move these over a little bit. We have protection. We then have the mirror. Is this in reverse? No, upright. And the judge, which is upright. Okay, so the first thing I'm really picking up on is you guys judge yourself very, very harshly. You are somebody who is quite self-critical. You are somebody who is really organized. You really think the world of other people, but when it comes to yourself, it can be quite hard to put yourself first. So in the year of 2021, I feel like you're learning to embrace yourself, embrace your individuality, embrace your specific needs and what you really need. And I do feel like for a lot of you guys, there is a definite ending to a lot of old cycles that you're gonna go through. I do feel as if there's an ending to an old partnership or something that has really weighed you down, something that maybe you haven't realized has weighed you down. And maybe at the end of this year, you're really feeling like, okay, it's time to cut the cords. It's time for something new. And it does say about cutting cords, it says, call back your power, soul retrieval, cut the cords. There's definitely an energy of like releasing, having something come out of your energy and it it be so releasing for you, like a soul release. It feels like I'm ready for something new. And I do feel as if this is meant to happen. Anything that's happening for you right now is happening for you, not to you. Sometimes it can feel like that. Sometimes it can feel like universe, wow, Lord, why are you doing this to me? But you know, sometimes it's just meant to happen and we need to have sometimes have those so we can learn what it is that we really, really want. And we also have this, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a lunar eclipse here. Uh, or solar eclipse, I'm not entirely sure, but there's an eclipse and we have recently had a solar and a lunar eclipse. So for you guys, you may have had a sudden realization and have woken up to the thought of possibly how you're interacting in your connections. And it doesn't have to be, you don't actually have to have any connections around you. It could literally be that things have shown themselves to you or you've had like an epiphany of how you want to, you know, be in a relationship, how you want to be loved, how what serves you, what makes you feel really comfortable. So we have the mirror and we have the judge. This feels almost like you guys judge yourself very harshly. And I do feel as if you've had a lot of really harsh learning uh, in this past year of 2020. This mirror, this mirror and the moon is really, I'm really vibing with this moon energy. I do feel like it's a lot of deep emotional healing, a lot of cleansing. This feels like a new energy, like you are stepping into something new. You're stepping into something that's really, really super powerful. And you're gonna feel like a million, a million, I'm hearing a million bucks. I do feel also as if the judge here in the mirror is showing me there's lots of different sides to you and you're embracing all sides. You're not, 
feel the need to be perfect and protect yourself and make yourself be this perfect person because you're perfect the way you are you know you don't have to change for anyone you just have to be yourself it's definitely like a soul retrieval like a soul energy you're coming back to who you once were as possibly a child basically before anyone told you that you weren't good enough or told you that you know you couldn't do things a certain way basically I feel like we've all been judged on some level in our life and it's really time for you to pull back and understand that these they were there for a lesson, they were there for a reason or a season or a lifetime. But this energy right here is showing me there's a new wave of seductive energy coming in for you, which is really, really beautiful. And I love this so much. So the main tarot cards you guys got is the Queen of Pentacles. Whoops. And I'm going to move this candle up here is the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This is the main tarot energy. I'm then going to grab my 18 plus cards and we're gonna pull some tarot and we're gonna see what's coming towards you. So let me just bring up this lighting a little bit. Okay, let's have a look and see. I don't know where to put this candle. Should I put her up there? There we go, have a bit more room. Okay, let's see. What's coming towards group number one, please? <coughs> Sorry guys. Queen of Wands, <laughs> love that. The Nine of Cups. Two of Pentacles. The Magician. The King of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So it's funny that we have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So that's a really lovely energy, just like com complete completion. And then underneath we have the Ace of Cups, beautiful. You guys have def definitely meant to have gone through all this rubbish with people so you can feel awakened, so you can feel alive again, so you can feel like yourself. So I feel for you guys, it's really, really important for you to embrace all aspects of you. You are an amazing human being and someone is going to appreciate that about you. Your next intimate experience is going to be extremely intense. It's gonna feel really fiery. It's going to possibly come out of a classic kind of meeting at work. That's kind of what I'm hearing, like a classic meeting at work. It feels like clashing of two energies. You, this person has a really strong energy. They are most likely a Taurus or something that's like quite earthy, but also really intense. Could be a Scorpio, could be an Aquarius. It feels like massive, thick sign energy, like really, really powerful, very, very strong and intimate. So we also have the Knave of Cups, which is the uh, Page of Cups. So, or, sorry, the Knight of Cups. So this is all about you guys experiencing new amount of sexual energy. So you may have been quite shy around your love life and intimate life, but this time around, you guys are going to explore new things. And there's definitely, for some of you guys, there may be about two or three uh, people you're gonna be in a connection with obviously maybe not the same time unless that's your bag you know um, but it does feel like you could be clearing out anybody who's old and outdated I do feel like for some of you guys who are just kind of exploring your energy your sexual energy I feel like there's going to be three guys that you're possibly going to be doing things with obviously if you're not attracted to guys it's going to be women you know whoever you're attracted to there's going to be three people that you are drawn to on a sexual level I do feel as if you if you want somebody like you committed and you're not the sort of fling type of gal, I feel as if, obviously when I say gal, I mean guys and gals, it's just the way I talk. <laughs> um, I feel as if you will have somebody around, but they may come at the end of the year around November time. It feels as if there's some sort of leading up to this person. So it feels as if there's something you'll need to learn through this year before you can get to the end goal. And it feels like this person, you might not be sure of them at first. It feels like you are a little bit confused on the connection. You're like, is this somebody I really want to have a romantic connection with? It just feels a little bit confusing. So I do feel as if you may be dipping in and out because you're a bit confused because there's something about this person that you're really sexually attracted to, but you're not sure if they're like marriage material or anything like that or long-term material. But then you kind of realize, no, they are. It's just possibly it wasn't the right timing at that time. Because I feel like you may meet them at the start of the year. And then it kind of trickles out and moves into something new later on in the year. So we have the Ten of Wands here. This is like ultimate completion. And it feels as if there's something new that comes out of 
imbalance. It's like you guys are going through imbalance, balance, imbalance, imbalance, and you're kind of swaying in and out. So it's definitely because of the energies, they're definitely kind of making you feel lots of different ways. And then once this is kind of settled down, it feels like a boat and it's rocking like this. And then by like mid year, like July, you're gonna to start to go into this new cycle where you manifest somebody who is really on your wavelength. I feel like your ex could hit you up basically and say like, oh, I miss you, you know, all that crap. Um, <laughs> you're not interested. This is somebody who is really angry. They were really nasty to you. They were kind of really, uh, they're possibly like a Leo energy. They might not be a Leo, but they have a very strong energy like I'm the best or look at my, you know, look at my body. I'm going to like portray this amazing person, but really I'm a narcissist, you know, that sort of thing. Um, you could have got an animal out of your last relationship and you kind of kept the animal to yourself um, out of like, it may be like group, is it joint, joint custody? Is it what I'm hearing? But, it's, but you're the one who has custody of the animal. Obviously that's if you have married and things like that. That's what I'm feeling, guys. It feels really, really nice. This is a really nice energy. I feel like your intimate life is gonna be really nice. I feel like when you meet this person, uh, I feel I feel as if this group is mainly a few people. That's what I'm feeling. It's mainly like a few people you're gonna have. So for you guys who are gonna have a few people, you're going to feel more expressive every single time you're with somebody. And this feels like three different people that you're gonna be with. So every time you're gonna dress differently, you're probably gonna have different hair color every single time you meet someone new. It just so happens to be like that. It's almost like you're just experimenting and testing out the waters with different uh, guys. I do, I do feel like they're the same person. Obviously, if it's a, if you're interested in the female, just take it gender neutral. When I say guys, it's just because there's men in the picture. So I'm like getting drawn to the masculine energy. I do feel as if you're learning how to interact with others with your body, you're learning to be vulnerable. And the fruit here is showing me that you guys are possibly a little bit insecure, especially if you are a vagina owner. You're gonna be somebody who's a little bit insecure about that area. You're gonna be feeling it like, I don't, I don't know how to kind of let you see that. I haven't really seen it too much, you know? So I feel like for you, it's a really nice explorative energy. For those of you who want just one relationship or you're looking for someone, just one person in particular, you're not interested in flings or any kind of temper temporary things. I feel as if you're going to be somebody who's very determined. They are really, really um, strong. They're like a strong person. They literally physically are strong. They possibly have quite big muscles. And I feel as if they are literally the advanced version of your ex. Not to say that your ex is, they're not the same as your ex. They're like, basically, because you have advanced in yourself, you are then going to manifest someone who's also newly advanced and you are attracting that energy in and it's very, very beautiful. So basically with these two, I do feel like you are basically mainly work focused this year and the, the people that you're attracting is just going to come in naturally. There is no forcing. I don't feel like there's a dating site here anywhere. I feel like it's definitely in person or possibly through work, through a Zoom call, that sort of thing. It doesn't have to be, like it is online as well, but it's not through a physical dating site, like actual dating sites. I do feel like it could be, if it is online, it'll be through the internet, like Instagram, Facebook. It feels a lot like Facebook. It feels like you know these people quite well. You get to see what they look like before you see them. So you see a photo of them. You get to see a lot of kind of what their life is like. And you have a little kind of um, Instagram stalk. <laughs> um, for those of you who are that type of person, I do feel like you're going to really be interested in their life. You do have very similar hobbies. I feel like this person is like an extremist. Um, they like thrills. They like anything that's really intense. They love, I mean, intensity in sex is, is just their thing. They love intensity. If you guys aren't the most intense person, I feel like it's a 50-50 thing on this group. Group. Um, if you're not sort of the intense type, I feel like you're going to be exploring what your needs are, what you want. And I do feel as if you guys are, some of you feel the need to flaunt your body just because you have to. Guys, if you feel the need you have to flaunt your body to get what you want, you do not have to do that. Okay, obviously, if you enjoy doing that 100%. That is totally fine. But for those of you who feel like you have to do it and it's not comfortable for you, you do not have to do anything you are not comfortable with. You just have to be your entire self. You do not have to be perfect. You do not have to be this version of yourself that you think is, you know, what people want. You just have to be yourself, okay? And this person will like you and love you for who you are, okay? Beautiful. I feel like there's a lot of energy around 
um, nature as well. I feel like both of you are going to be really interested in nature. I feel like one of you is more, more spiritual than the other on, on some sort of level. Um, obviously, I know there's not like levels of spirituality, but I do feel like you're going to introduce this person to uh, spiritual topics that possibly you are interested in that really fascinate you and things like that, which is very, very beautiful. Okay, so let's have a look at you and this person. Let's see about your connection. What's the connection like? Let me bring down my lighting a little bit. It's quite bright. Okay, sorry about the lighting, guys. It's a little bit off. I'm trying this new beautiful velvet uh, background. I don't know if it's kind of showing up okay, so bear with me if, if the lighting is a little bit off. So we have Dragonfly. This is your energy. I feel like it should be a line through here. Why should there be a line? Because you haven't met this person yet. Okay, so for most of you, you haven't met this person yet. Yes, you haven't. Um, basically, the energy that's coming in 2021, brand new energy. So basically, you're releasing and cleansing everyone that you've basically been with. Uh, person, future person. Okay, they're saying pull three. Okay, so I definitely feel like it's going to be three different people. So for those of you who may or may not be interacting with three different people, I mean, some of you guys, even if you want just one partner or one connection, I do feel... As if, you know, this is naturally going to occur. There may just naturally be three people and then you kind of figure out which one you prefer. Um, it just may happen like that. Not to say that you have to physically try and push and force. You just are naturally, that, that's just the way it works. Yeah, I feel like they're all very similar. You can see how they, they all are um, wild animals, like literally like from the wild, um, from like a uh, hot country, like Africa and things like that. Um, I'm hearing the outback as well. I mean, obviously they're not, from the outback like Australia. They do feel like they're all from a semi-hot country, I'm feeling, and this feels like you're the water sign, they're the fire sign. Um, they're somebody who is very driven. They don't have to be a fire sign, they are just somebody who is really, really driven. They are absolutely amazing, and they're just somebody who you, you can see yourself with. I feel like this is the main person, because this is the one that just came out first. So I do feel as if maybe looking at these two people, you were like, you know what, you kind of remind me of my ex. <laughs> Not too fond, I want this one, who's completely different. And can you see how this is kind of black and white with a tiny bit of color? And then we have a more white, but more color, sorry, less white, more color, and then we have full on color. So it's kind of like, kind of figuring out what is the best assets that you want out of this person. And it just feels really, really lovely. So let's have a look at the relationship between you two. This, this kind of, I thought, I don't even think there's a dog in this uh, deck, but I was gonna, I was picking up this might be a dog, which is very strange. So maybe you're gonna get a dog or this person has a dog. So this is the relationship between you both. This is somebody extremely intense. I mean, this eye is like full on intensity. There's somebody who is really determined. They, they see you and their eyes are so intense. They have really strong eyes. I'm, I'm thinking like bright blue, bright green, um, even brown, but like full on. Like when you see them, you're like, holy crap, this person's intense. I'm getting like really strong fire and earth from this group. This, ver this person has Virgo eyes as well. Um, Virgos have very intense eyes a lot of the time. Um, they're normally quite small, but oh my God, they are really intense. They're like scorpionic eyes. That's why um, Scorpios and Virgos do grow quite well together. They're very intense people, but when they get together, it's like the sex is like, it's amazing, it's beautiful. So basically this person's gonna see right through you. They're gonna be like, damn girl, I want some of that. <laughs> you know? They're gonna be literally, I can literally hear this person saying that. Um, but it's gonna be on a loving basis as well. So if you do start a relationship with sex and intimacy, that can be how the relationship starts. You know, Not every relationship has to be like slow and kind of taking your time. This, this feels like boom, 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 you know? Um, and the dragonfly is just you being your authentic self, speaking your truth and being creative and just being a, the gentle spirit that you are. And I feel like a lot of you guys are very sensitive empaths, but you're really sexual. So it can be quite hard to find your, the person that really suits you. Some of you guys are literally, um, have never had sex before or have never been intimate before. So I'm picking up on that as well. So lots of different people have chosen this group. I feel like this group is quite popular actually. Normally group one isn't that popular, but I feel like this time around it is quite popular. So that's interesting. Okay, so this is gonna be the connection. This is your person. So this person I feel is definitely someone who is raw, intense. They are, they really like their, they want to approach you and look good. They wanna look good and they, yeah, brand new, brand new start with this person. They want you to think they look good. <laughs> um, they really take care of themselves. They are, oh wow, look at that, beautiful. Um, 
they're very self-critical of their body and their figure uh, male or female they look at their body and they think okay i have to look good for this person um you guys are both learning to establish healthy boundaries healthy relationships and you're both learning to express yourself through your emotional body like being your complete self both of you are extremely talented you're going to feel a lot of comfort within this person you're going to feel a lot of comfort when you are with this person you're going to feel just like on top of the world it's going to feel really intense so some of you might actually meet this person and pull away because it might be too intense and then come back to them it's going to be a very heated situation so i want to say be careful of twin flame situations so if you haven't if you still got things that are on that are not healed then maybe this may turn into a twin flame situation but that will be if it does happen it's, it's meant to happen and if you have the awareness at that time you will recognize it and if you don't that's totally fine we're all meant to learn things on a different level okay we also have saturn saturn is the guy he is the old man of the astrology he is the old man planet he's the one that tells you what to do he's he's the he's the one that's basically like you can't get away with things you have to go through this so basically there's going to be somebody who's going to really trigger you but in a beautiful way it's going to make you realize oh wow i can really be myself with this person and if you can't be yourself with this person it's not the right one this is going to be somebody you do not have to change yourself at all to be with this person we then have the uh, sixth house so this is the house of health and jobs this is all to do with virgo which is really lovely so your your um daily routines are going to really shift and this is all about animals and pets as well and i did mention a pet at the start so i definitely feel like one of you guys has a pet um that's just very significant i feel like some of you guys might have a pug or a pug or like a husky or like i'm seeing like a little like terrier kind of thing it's kind of like lots of different animals that i'm feeling okay so we're gonna have a look at this person's personality and we're gonna see what they are bringing to the connection all right okay so they've gone through a lot of loss but it's actually brought them to a really beautiful place let's bring this candle back in hey girl um it's brought them to an actually really beautiful place it's made them quite famous actually because a lot of the times we go through loss and it actually transforms us and puts us on the right path that we need to be on we then have restlessness this person is very intense they are somebody who will be quick they're really a quick thinker they're somebody who's very popular in their job they're very well known a lot of people love them um very strong leo vibes from this person like really they they have to be the best that's what i'm hearing they are quite competitive um but they're also quite stubborn <laughs> so they do have quite a hard time making decisions um in terms of like they stick to something and they don't really like to change but they are extremely intelligent and they do like a bit of order they're somebody who is very um connected to organization they love anything that is neat and tidy okay let's go with oops let's go with this one okay submission this person has dealt with a lot of basically a lot of idiots really a lot of people who have just not treated them well and they have a sense of being caged in a lot of the time i think it's because they're they possibly are a fixed sign so they do have a definite energy of being caged in so if this is your person i do feel as if they're learning to let go and have more fun really um, and we also have defense so this person has dealt with a lot of family members who have dealt the wrong hand to them they have had to stop themselves from being themselves because they are almost like the the odd one out in the family so they are learning to be themselves and express their authenticity so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading uh, all information is down below on my crystal shop thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lovely day and i will speak to you very soon much love bye hello group number two thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so you guys chose kundite so kundite says call on kundite after a breakup or major disappointment or when you're beating yourself up about something you do not need permission to be here you belong if you forget that pause tap into kundite's pink prismatic vibration and let love rule open your love channel Ooh, okay it says anyone who needs it anyone with a heavy heart about something collectors of good vibration this feels very intense this feels like um somebody who needs a lot of love okay so i feel for you guys you have been through so much intense energy it has been really 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 uncomfortable for you it has felt really 
just not good all over the place, kind of figuring out your journey, kind of figuring out who you are, what you need, what your needs are, all of that jazz. And you're really trying to figure out, okay, why does this keep happening and things like that. So let's have a look at the rest of your cards and let's see what's going on for you, my lovely group number two. So beautiful, wow, shadow. Yeah, I'm feeling that girl, I'm feeling it. Okay, this is lovely. I love this crystal in this ball, that's really beautiful. Then have faith, okay. Let's move these along a little bit. We then have share your voice. Come out of your cave, persecution expression. We then have the tear and we have the mentor. Okay. All right, so I feel like you guys are dealing with a lot of grief. Um, this may not be something that you're aware of. You may have had a lot of, like a feeling of a heavy heart recently. Um, a lot of these things that you've gone through, and I feel like I need to say, I know this has been said a lot and I know it's not the most fun thing to say, but you guys have been through this things, these things for a reason. And these things have made you who you are. They've taught you all the wisdom that you need to know and you're becoming the mentor. You are most likely a light worker. You're somebody who's gone through a load of crap with people, loads of karma, and you are somebody who is so emotionally strong. Um, you are working on coming out of your cave and just being your authentic self. You want to explore more hidden realms, more depth in life. You want to have more exploration especially since all these things have been going on around the world, you want to explore more, you want to get out your shell more. The faith card is here to tell you that to have faith in your love life, to have faith in your connections. There is gonna be somebody who really makes you feel good and they are um, hearing are your savior, which sounds very intense and kind of like, not that you should rely on anyone for your happiness, but they will make you feel like free. They'll make you feel really, really good. And they're gonna make you realize that letting go of those other people or feeling like you can't let go of them is gonna make you let go of them. It's gonna help you to shift into this new relationship, this new connection, because part of you is really wanting to hold on to the old, old self or wanting to hold on to any old connections out of safety. But now is the time to release that. Now is the time to release any heavy heart you have because basically you've gone through a lot of shadow work and I feel like you're not bringing this into 2021. I feel like you are, maybe in the first couple of months, you may still be releasing it. Obviously timing is fluid, but I do feel as if the faith card is showing me just to have faith and know that things will change for you. And I'm hearing, look out for subtle changes. So this could be in the way you interact with people, how it's different. It could be the way you see yourself, possibly in the way you look, maybe something changes in your look, maybe you look more glowing, maybe your skin improves, maybe your, um, your energy improves, you feel more energetic, something like that is you feel as if you've definitely been battered and bruised by the world and it, you have definitely learnt to now look above things and not get too wrapped up in things. I do feel as if there's, def there's a definite energy of maturing. You have matured a lot. I'm hearing like fine wine or cheese. <laughs> My guide's messages are so funny sometimes. But yeah, there's definitely a strong feeling of I can fucking do this, okay? This That's definitely what's coming through and it is gonna improve for you guys, okay? So let's have a look at your tarot. So the main tarot card we have here, I'm gonna move my candle up here so we can fit this in the frame. We have the three of cups. This is the main energy. So I wanna pull you one more because I wanna just clarify this guy and then we're gonna have a look into your sexual magic tarot. I feel like you're gonna get a lot more support than what you had in 2020. I feel like you're gonna meet people who are on your wavelength. This is like, give me soul family vibes. I'm gonna pull you actually one more. I feel like I want three cards. Okay, there we go. I feel like you are definitely missing connections. You are missing feeling connected to people. And it's even like you could be surrounded by 10, 15, 20 people, but I don't feel like you have much in common with them anymore. And I'm hearing an emphasis on anymore. It's kind of like you ha are now on a, a new cycle. You're now on a new pathway. So let's get you some sexual magic tarot. I'm hearing like a connection with your father is improving as well, or even just forgiving, forgiving um, male relationships. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is lovely. Um, I see a definite increase in financial energy in your money. I feel like things are gonna really improve. 
So let's have a look at the more sexual, intimate details of your love life. Oh, I, I love this card. This is one of my absolute favorites. Judgment again. Beautiful. Was it justice or judgment we had? Let me see. Sorry, justice. My bad. Okay, lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's see what else. I'm getting the word daisies or daisy or something like that or rose. Like I'm hearing a lot of uh, female flower, like flower names. I love this. Complete surrender. Complete and utter like, you know, love me for who I am or get lost, bitch. <laughs> That's literally what I'm hearing. Just ultimate power, just feeling like a really powerful feminine. And if you're not a feminine, it's obviously just you in, just feeling confident whether you're a masculine or feminine. Ace of Cups underneath, which is lovely. Feeling really comfortable with this person. Okay, two of swords. Right, I feel as if you guys are learning to speak your truth. You are actually talking about what you want to talk about now. You're not just, it's not hush hush under the table kind of thing. And what I mean by that is it's like you are no longer suppressing your, your literal human needs. Um, I feel like you are, I'm hearing a, what is the word? Okay, I'm hearing you're a procrastinator, but that's only for some of you guys. Um, there's another word that I'm thinking of. Basically people who march and who stand up for something. Doesn't have to march, but there's a word for it. I can't remember, sorry guys, my brain has just got, had a brain fart. But I feel like you're standing up for yourself, you're standing up for something. And this in turn is, is bringing a really gorgeous death energy. So we have the death, we have the world, and we have the two of swords. So we go from the two of pentacles, death energy, a massive amount of release, and then the two of swords. So let's get one more card. What's after this two of swords, please? Let's have a look at this. Perfect, the magician. And then let's get one more. I feel like there's something that needs to come out. The hermit. And let's get one more. Yeah, perfect, the fall. Right, there's somebody coming in and they may not come in this year, okay? And I know a lot of you guys are gonna sigh and feel really annoyed, but I feel as if this, that's only for a few of you. This isn't for everybody. Um, some of you guys, it, it may be um, 2022 like January. So to be specific, it may be a little bit longer, but it feels as if you guys are learning more about what you want, establishing boundaries. I feel like you guys are the learning group. You're learning something through your friendships. I feel like you're going to gain a lot of friendships. Um, your, your career is going to feel easier. You're going to manifest a career where people are really kind to you, where you are a leader, where you're very powerful, where you never thought you could be a leader. And then we have the King of Pentacles. You will most likely meet somebody through work. So for some of you guys who are gonna meet this person in 2020, this person's gonna be very earthy. Um, not in the sense they don't have to be an earth sign, but they can be. They're very practical. Okay, we're getting massive amount of sexual messages coming through. This person likes to put handcuffs on you. Um, they like suppression energy, and this is in a healthy way, okay, guys? I only pick up on healthy messages, nothing, in, nothing, you know, toxic. This person is established. They love a bit of control. I'm picking up on, like, Fifty Shades of Grey type thing, and I'm pretty sure the main actor, can't remember his name right now, very attractive man, I'm pretty sure he's a Taurus, and Tauruses are really intense. They know what they want, they establish boundaries quite well, they're quite stubborn, but they're really powerful, they're powerful beings. And this person has this really strong energy of like, I need you, I want you right this second. This person is really good with sex positions, like holy crap, they'll be like boom, 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 one position, then boom into another one, flip you around. You know, if you're a top or bottom, I don't know, <laughs> whatever you are, there's gonna be an intense like, they know what you they want. Okay, so if you are like that as well, you may have a little cute fight <laughs> in between where you're kind of like, no, I want to do that. No, I want to do that. Um, this person really likes, you know, I'm seeing if you are into men, I see you are on your knees and you're doing the thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make it as subtle as possible. That's what I'm seeing. This person loves that. Basically oral. They love that. <laughs> um, they love kissing. They love textures your connection is going to feel like you're literally speechless. Like That's why I didn't have any words for that at that second. You're literally speechless. This person, I'm picking up on the sun card as well. So this person could most likely be a fixed sign. You may go through, okay, you may go through some sort of uncomfortable energy with a person in the workplace. And I'm not saying this is somebody who will do something horrible to you. 
but there will be somebody who you're really not interested in you're going to try and avoid this person and then something changes in your energy something shifts they kind of maybe possibly leave the workplace or you suddenly have to move workplace or something like that and then you, this is when you manifest this person you're like why do i keep attracting weird people and then suddenly like boom death energy massive amount of change you want to also realize if it's not this person if it's not like a weird person coming in you want to realize that those people you were with were just were after you know one thing and obviously i know this is a sexual reading but when i pick up on sexual energies i'm picking up on somebody who really appreciates you and sometimes this can lead to a physical relationship like a literal partnership um, I am seeing this person really likes you. You two are on the exact same level. You will manifest somebody who's on your wavelength. They love you so much as well. So for those of you who want a romantic connection, this person will love you so much. Like I'm picking up on extreme fixed sign energy. Like they might not even be a fixed sign. They might just like have those types of qualities. They are just so full on. They, you can trust this person with your life. You can trust this person with pretty much anything and they will not let you down. They've also been through toxic energy. So they know what it's like to feel let down, to feel betrayed. They hate betrayal. They absolutely despise it. They are extremely strong in their views and they will not let anyone lay a hand on you, basically. <laughs> so you may meet, even meet this person through um, a friendship, for a friendship group, but I will most likely guarantee this, this group is through work. Um, or through your like a common interest that you are very very interested in like you meet on a daily basis like you meet on a weekly basis something like that and then somebody's like oh I have this you know this friend who you, you could be interested in who I'm going to get you a date with them or it could even be like someone's brother or someone's cousin and obviously like a friend's cousin or something like that who they think oh you would be really good for this person obviously I know that everyone wants to recommend their cousin but obviously it depends on the relationship you guys have with this friend um it feels like this is a new friend you meet and then they have like a really hot brother or something and you're like oh my god <laughs> you're like oh no <laughs> this is gonna get complicated girl <laughs> okay so let's have a look at your uh what you are in this relationship okay so you're basically weaving your web right now things are very mixed up uh, at the moment they feel very confusing um, basically it's kind of like when you first move into a house everything is a bit of a mess and then you slowly start to feel more comfortable in that environment that's what I'm feeling also by the way when I said about cousins and things I'm not talking about like weird family crap I'm, feeling, I'm literally picking up on you know a friend who has like a brother and you know it's that sort of situation um, okay so let's see what else we have so the future partner or person that you're connecting with wow so much fiery energy this person knows exactly what they want they know exactly what they want. Um, so I feel as if you're going to feel possibly a little bit lost when you find this person, when you manifest them. Um, there, it's definitely, I feel like, just one person. I'm actually hearing one and a half people. So you may meet somebody who you're not too sure about, like the first person that I said. You're like, oh, I'm not too sure. Why do I keep manifesting these people? And then boom, really strong relationship. So you don't really get intimate with the first person. You may just be like, have a message on Instagram or something like that. And then you like cut this person off or it could be like an ex coming back or something like that um yeah that's what i'm feeling so let's have a look at your relationship let's see what's going on okay freedom ultimate freedom this person is really intelligent you both are extremely intelligent you both love the exact same things okay you both love the exact same things you both feel uh really proud to be in this relationship you feel proud of each other of ultimate freedom you're gonna feel like you've come out of a chrysalis basically and you've been transformed in your this brand new person we then have the firefly underneath massive amounts of change for you okay let's have a look at the astrology to do with this connection let's see what we have yeah, this person loves chains and like whips and things i keep getting like um those big wrist things that you can get like the really thick ones the really thick um handcuffs like they're really like thick and yeah that's what i'm picking up on um this person loves like physical things that make noise as well they like things that are jangly and like you know, whips and things that they love like cracking a whip and things like that they love things that they can really sink their teeth into basically and that could be you who they're sinking their teeth into as well which girl yes queen okay i feel like this person's star signs a little bit of a um like a secret I, i'm picking up on earth sign though for this 
person but it does feel like you might not actually know their star sign when you first meet them i know a lot of you guys who are into astrology you get me included you just you look at somebody you think you're a scorpio or you look at somebody you think you're a cancerian you know um so i do feel as if this person is going to be like why can't you're like why can't i pin down this person why can't i figure them out it's because you're not meant to basically because you're meant to learn about them as you go along so brand new beginnings with this person um they're going to be very creative with you and creatives and sexual as well creativity and sexuality is the same thing uh, from the same chakra so this is the first house of aries so they're going to be somebody who um very physically attractive very sexy very sexual and sexy um a lot of people want this person you get this person they are very inventive they i'm hearing they love their tools which sounds like such a kink but they do it says tools here on this card as well um, this person and you have released a lot of old energy. It's now time for you to come together. You most likely um, meet this person through a group project, like coming together, working on something. Um, we do have the sixth house of health, which is work. So it's work, your daily routines. It's ruled by Virgo. It's also to do with your health and fitness and how organized and uh, your organization and things like that. So this is how you're going to possibly change. It could even be through the gym or something, but I don't feel like you go to the gym every day and then you meet this person. It's kind of like you take a class and that's how you meet them. That's kind of what I'm feeling. It feels like a massive group situation and it possibly could be a secret relationship as well. Um, yeah, it does feel quite secretive. Okay, let's have a look at this person and let's see what's, what their personality is like. They're very empathic. Um, they're somebody who really cares for you. Yep, Sun in Scorpio, fixed sign. Yeah, Sun in Scorpio, Moon in Pisces. So that actually could be there chart right there let's move these cards over a little bit sorry about the lighting guys it's a little bit off testing out this new little gorgeous velvet background but it's just it's really hard with the lighting um control is person yep perfect they're releasing control love that the new aquarian age has shifted this person especially if they're a masculine or a male they've shifted and they're learning to um, be open with their emotions and it's actually helping them in their work because they're allowing themselves to be vulnerable and then they're able to think straight because they can really be themselves and not manipulate I feel like this person may even go through some kind of harsh I'm seeing them this is so random but I'm seeing them crying and you're comforting them and then that's how you meet and it sounds really strange but sometimes these things just happen and it's just sometimes things just happen really weirdly um, so it sounds like a bit of a weird situation but it feels as if they just open up to you straight away, like straight away. So this person is extremely adaptable. They are, they are very um, protective of you, very intense, really raw, sexual raw, raw person. They are very kinky, very secretive about their sex life as well. So when you, be, we, when you get sexual with this person, it's going to be like, oh, angels are descending. Lord Jesus Christ has risen, girl. <laughs> um, no shade to people who are religious, by the way. And I hope you guys don't take offense when I say stuff like that. But girl, it's my sassiness. It comes out. <laughs> it just comes out. Um, yeah, I just feel like you guys have gone through so much energy and it's now time for this brand new wave of a new beginning with somebody. And it doesn't have to be a romantic connection. If this is somebody you want to be intimate with and you don't want to be attached, that is totally fine. I see that happening with this person as well. So thank you so much for watching guys. I'm also, this is so random, but I'm picking up on like a milkshake and it might be the song my milkshake brings. <laughs> I don't know, but it feels like this person may work at a juice bar, um, like a waiter. They could be a barista. Um, I'm picking up on like Starbucks. I'm also picking up on like a pub as well. They could be a barman. Barman? Is that the right word? I have no idea. Um, yeah, I'm seeing them like shaking cocktails and stuff. Um, yeah, something like that. They're very detail orientated. They love to put things all together. Um, could even be a cook or somebody who is like into culinary or will cook for you as well. I'm seeing like a shirtless man cooking and it's like, oh God it's nice <laughs> okay so thank you so much for watching um if you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal shot all the information is down below my lovely people i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you very soon bye bye hello my lovely group number three let's get started with your reading so you guys chose selenite i actually have my little selenite wand here today helping me do some channeling so selenite 
when to use it when you move into a new space and you want any lingering bad juju to vamoose. When you pray to gods above, when you've been working with crystals and want to clear away any energy they've picked up in the process, give them a gentle tap with selenite. Clear your path to enlightenment. Who needs it? Healers, believers, the currently cleansing, juice, technology, etc. Where to put it, wherever you want the slate wiped clean, i.e. your bedside table, after a brutal work week or about sorry, around your apartment after somebody extra shady visits. Okay, so I feel as if you guys have a massive revolution that I'm really being connected to the part where it says when somebody extra shady visits, I feel as if you guys have, are going to realize something about somebody and possibly after somebody does visit, you're gonna be realizing like, oh wow, I really don't wanna be around this person anymore. Um, I do feel as if you are now starting a new beginning for a lot of you guys. You are cleansing, you are juicing, possibly detoxing. Your whole life is being detoxified. So I love selenite. It's a beautiful crystal for channeling. It's really nice for getting those um, messages from spirit. So that's why I have a selenite wand. I hold it and give a little wave. Um, it's really good for cleansing your energy after readings, after going outside with other people. After just being outside, you know, with lots of different energies, the energies are really intense as well. So if you need some calming, this crystal is very, very good as, for that as well. And also this is a massage one. So I feel like for some of you guys, you could actually use spiritual tools for intimate energy. You could be getting like yoni eggs, you could be um, getting chakra kits, things like that. I actually sell chakra kits on my website. So if you're interested, that is there for you as well. I actually sell selenite bowls with crystal kits. So this is not me promoting, but whenever I get some, a message and it relates to my shop, I'm gonna say it, Goral, because I feel the need to. Um, I'm also picking up on rose quartz and clear quartz for you guys. I just feel the need for you to um, balance out feeling clear and also a clear heart as well. I'm not, not relying on other people to feel clear, just really focusing on your journey and keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm hearing like, keep going. Don't listen to distractions. Don't listen to other people that tell you not good enough. Don't worry about anybody hitting you up from the past because if they do, just let them go, girl. Because I feel like your, your energy is very clear and sensitive. So basically you're going to attract some, you know, some, you may attract some idiots. And I feel like you're going to have strong enough boundaries to say, no, girl, not anymore. This is 2021. We are new. This is a new year, new me. <laughs> I know it's so cringy when people say that, but I feel like that's, that is you. And I feel like the angels are really helping you. So let's see what angels are assisting you. Okay, we have Metatron, Wisdom, love Metatron. We have Hanael, Hope, lovely. I love the black against this red, it's so sexy. I love it. Also, this ruby crystal, really powerful. We have literally like two pretty much opposite colors, um, like a clear energy, and then we have this red, intense sexual red, um, which is all about the ruby and things like that. Okay, we have Warrior Woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? We then have the Ancestors card, and the last one is Genosis. Okay, so Genosis is all about finding your pathway. So I feel as if a lot of you guys are gonna discover your deepest calling. You're going to discover what you have possibly been like missing in this lifetime. When I say missing, it's kind of like you always, always, you already have it within you, but you're just rediscovering yourself. I feel as if there is a newfound hope you're going to have and you are feeling much more powerful, much more confident and you're going to manifest somebody who is equally as confident as you. You may have quite big hair as well, um, like large, like fuzzy hair, curly hair, um, afro hair, all those types of beautiful hair. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys have like long black hair as well. I'm just picking up on really large curly hair and also long black hair. I'm picking up on Libra as well, excuse me guys, I just burped. Um, yeah, I just feel like there's a massive energy of finding and searching for your soulmate. It's finding, oh, interesting. I did not know this one was about soulmates, but okay, you guys are gonna get a soulmate. <laughs> um, finding and searching your soulmate through um, each lesson that you've gone through. And I feel like I'm hearing this time around, it's gonna be different, okay? So we're gonna have a look and see what's gonna be different in just a second in the tarot. But this genosis, I wanna have a look in the book for this one because I feel like genosis is something that I wanna have a look at. Okay, so genosis, innermost knowing mystic truths. Okay, it said this card relates to the riddle and the shapeshifter, all concern themselves with revealing mystic truths. Those who say they know don't, those who say they don't know, know. <laughs> so this is all about contemplating the mystery, unanswerable questions, 
over intellectualizing and literalizing I don't even know that's a word literalizing asking others it says to go deeper Bruce Newman's the art the true artist helps the world by revealing mystic truths that's possibly a book or something written by Bruce Newman uh, or Noman this uh, basically recommends like different things that can help you so I feel like with this energy this is about you re realizing yourself you're knowing what is it that you want in a relationship what is it that's going to help you to feel complete in a connection what is it that your basic needs are and then go going from there so in terms of a sexual energy i feel like you guys are going to meet somebody this is going to be, i'm here i'm hearing this is really interesting you're going to meet someone who you're going to have like a really healthy sex life with it's going to feel very very powerful there may be a little bit of learning in between if you feel like you haven't done too much learning in terms of sexual energy or learning about yourself I feel like you are still going to have a few kind of mishaps or you know like people who aren't really on your wavelength in the first few months um but for the most part for the, those of you who've been through just so much and you're like Vicky I'm not up for that anymore I feel as if you guys are going to have an extremely healthy connection with somebody and it feels a really like a really adult connection it feels like you're going to be your utmost self uttermost self I'm picking up on how light for you guys as well and I'm actually um, I have these little how light towers um, and I'm really just being drawn to how light and how light has a very healing energy it helps you to sleep as well I have some sleeping uh, bracelets on my shop and they're they're like proven to help you sleep <laughs> tested by yours truly <laughs> as well <laughs> um, yeah basically it's like you're answering your calling you're answering like I feel like you're constantly checking in with yourself as well you're somebody who really cares about your health you care about your body your well-being you are constantly checking in saying like okay girl is there anything we need to do today cleansing yourself and I feel like you're going to attract somebody who's done the work who's really powerful I just get like such a gorgeous rush of it like endorphins in my heart chakra it just feels like I have found my soulmate that is what I'm hearing I have absolutely found my soulmate I feel like you're going to be really nervous and sweating a lot when you meet this person because I suddenly felt really sweaty which I know sounds really gross but I definitely feel like you guys are starting to feel a little bit sweaty when you meet this person oh okay all right <laughs> that's the end of the reading um no but this is beautiful I love the tower the tower is one of my favorite cards because it always means that something's going to happen like something major is going to happen let's see what's after this tower what is this oh yes go get it get it <laughs> get it go oh my fucking god yes queens 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 okay i'm gonna pick another one. Oh my god i'm so happy <laughs> oh my god i love this my scorpionic energy is just like yes queen yes 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 okay I need to calm down. Deep breath, everyone. Deep breaths. This is literally what you're going to be like when you meet this person. You're going to be like, holy shit. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> Your hormones are going to be like, wee. They're going to be flying everywhere. You're going to be like, hold on, girl. Get your seatbelt. <laughs> Strap yourself in. Because you can't touch this person in the workplace. <laughs> okay, so we have justice. This is like, you have been waiting so, so long for this person i'm talking five years 10 years 30 years i feel as if some of you guys are worried about that you're not going to meet anyone and you're like i'm going to be old i'm going to be cronky i'm going to be someone who is just not attractive anymore and by the way girl you are attractive at any age okay don't let society tell you that you are ugly at, at any age okay you are perfect at every single phase in your life i mean look at all the tribes in you know in centuries back you know most people were you know looking at the elders and thinking i want to learn everything from you so it doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are obviously you know within limit um this person is going to match you right this is definitely like a brand new learning thing okay this is an, an, a brand new experience for you you've never met anyone like this because this isn't just a physical connection this is like the ultimate soulmate this is somebody who is on your wavelength they're even more on your wavelength and what I, what I mean by that is they want to grow with you they want to grow with you they want to feel everything they want to feel your body they want to feel your soul they are so effing deep like i'm picking up on this thick gorgeous calm safe energy i don't know why but i'm picking up on harry potter like i'm picking up on like a comforting energy like whenever i watch harry potter i mean i'm british so it is comforting for me 
um because i'm british and it's british um but i feel like you are watching harry potter and you're just sitting there with your mans or your woman's or you know whoever and you're just like i'm so content right now and then the sex is going to be like a gigantic bonus for both of you it's going to be like holy crap your person might be a florist you might be a florist a gardener you just love nature because I, I just touched my flowers without even realizing so yeah i feel like this person's going to send you flowers and you're going to be like oh never had that before okay i love this this is so good we have the three of pentacles this person you're going to meet through work through a lot of people you're going to meet so many different people and i'm talking like a soul tribe this is a soul tribe for some reason they're telling me to shuffle this tiny little deck so okay let's get one card out of this one there it is thank you wow i love this i love this um this kind of coupling here of what they're doing for some reason i just get such intense vibes from this this is just really beautiful i love it just pure pure sexuality and you're just both exploring your bodies this person has the body that you've always wanted to connect with like we all have a type on some level and when people say they don't have a type you know you are attracted to certain people so whatever your type is this is that person they appreciate every single part of your body it's almost like they don't even look at your body they literally look at your soul that's how deep this relationship is going to be I'm hearing this person might have like a nipple piercing and most likely being a female. I'm not seeing like a male nipple piercing. It might be, but one of you has a piercing. Um, this person has tattoos. They like things that are intense and raw. They like the color black, really deep. They like deep red. They love deep blue, um, like electric blue. My heart chakra is doing something while I'm doing this reading. It's so weird and intense. Whew, okay okay i'm actually going to pull an astrology card for this because i want to all oh, have the world look at that complete surrender feeling really safe um you know when dogs do that thing when you meet them and sometimes they go on their back that's basically like submissive like a submissive energy it's basically saying like i feel safe with you it's like a natural thing that animals do when they feel safe they normally go on their back it's kind of like i feel safe um that is this energy i'm not comparing you guys to animals but it's a natural basically a natural thing that's happening it's like meant to happen so I'm going to see what's going to initiate this tower. What's going to initiate this tower? <laughs> the house of partnerships, of course. Of course. What else would it be? Let's see what else. What else is it going to... What is this trigger? What is this trigger? How is this going to trigger the tower? Okay. I'm hearing two songs really powerfully in my ears and they're both going on at once. It's like overwhelming. You know, you play two songs at once and it's like, oh my God, my brain can't comprehend. I'm hearing the song, um, something, something like there may be something there that wasn't there before. That one from Beauty and the Beast. And I also have the one about, okay, I'm getting three Disney songs. I'm getting Dig a Little Deeper from Princess and the Frog. I love these films, by the way. All these are my fave films. Um, and then we have Tangled, which is the one where they're in the pub and they're singing about, uh, I have a dream. That's what this, this is. So it's something to do with all of those things. Basically finding out something, um, a new energy coming in. It's almost like this is definitely the universe has got your back here. Like something is shifting. It's kind of out of your control. So as long as you're working on yourself, you're working on your creativity and you're growing and learning and you're letting the universe just help you go through this. This feels beautiful. And then we have Mercury, third house. The house of, I of the mind and ideas. Here is where we see con the concrete thinking, thoughts, communication, mental agility, and the capacity to relate to the most immediate daily social environment, like siblings or neighbours. Um, there may be something that happens with your sibling or with your neighbour that shifts something. Could be something really subtle. It could literally be something to do with your neighbours, like something changes. Um, let me think. There's something else there. I'm seeing somebody walking past your house with a dog and then something just happens. It's a good thing though, but something really dramatic and random, like Uranus is all about that, all about that energy, like really dramatic and random. It's going to be like, what the heck? And that's how we met. <laughs> it's kind of like how I met your mother, but like in one episode, not the whole series. It's like, boom, that's how we met. Um, okay, so the uh, seventh house is all about partnerships. It says, here is where we see the potential, sorry, see the personal relationships that involve commitment or cooperation on, of some sort. Marriage, spiritual union, agreements, societies, and business partnerships. That is what I'm feeling, all of those. You're going to find somebody who's spiritually connected to you. And it's going to be through 
like I'm getting the word nurture, like they feel very nurturing. They're like a shaman, like they have a very shaman energy. Okay, so I'm seeing for some of you guys, you're gonna have a little bit of trickling in of just flings. So some of you might have just flings. Uh, but for those of you who want like one person and that's it, or just, you know, a committed relationship, you're gonna get that too. So those of you who don't want flings, you're not gonna get that. Those of you who want flings, yes. Both basically you're gonna get what you want. And I don't feel like for those of you who are still in a connection and you're not too sure if this is the one, this isn't that person, this is somebody who is right for you, you know it straight away. Um, and even if it's just a fling, you get connected with this person straight away. And I'm hearing for those of you who want to fling, I am seeing you guys meeting on a dating site or an Instagram profile, something like that. Those of you who want a romantic connection, it feels like it's to do with what you're passionate about. And that's how you're connecting. Feels natural. So this is extremely random, but I'm going to tell you guys anyway, I love all the symbolism that we have here. This reminds me of like the tip of a man's, you know, his penis. That's what I'm picking up on. So we have this snake here as well, and the snake can be like a sexual um, image as well. This female here, she is in her power. She is really on a very natural energy. It's really hard to explain. Basically, she's done the work, <laughs> okay? And the connection you guys have here is a really natural. You're the sort of couple that when people see you, they're like, I'm really jealous. I really want that couple and you don't care because you're just so happy I just feel like as long as you're working on your happiness there's nothing here that has there's no problems whatsoever um we have two knights we have the knight of swords and the knight of wands this person is going to be very talkative they are extremely talkative they do not shut up <laughs> and they can talk for England basically um for those of you who don't know that quote, by the way, uh, basically talking for England is like they just talk so much, <laughs> okay? And temperance, we have balance and patience. You guys, you guys are working on patience. You guys have been so patient and look how much you're going to grow. We literally have that. We have growth in relationships. Those of you who have had extreme relationships that have been really bad and very confusing, no more of that. As long as you've worked on your shadow side and the deeper parts of you, and that's obviously, you know, it is a process. It's not one day we wake up and all our shadows are, are complete. It's like the more you are aware of what you're going through, this is like a new relationship. It's just absolutely perfect. And another card here. We have making decisions, obstacles, taking action. And we have Sagittarius. So this could be your person. I feel like this person could be a fire sign. I'm just pulling from this deck now. I was going to shuffle, but they're just... they're. When I channel, my hands just go around in places, so I just let them do what they want to do. Okay, I'm just going to show you all these cards that we have here. So these are the cards that we have. So this is about your person. So they could have Aries, Sag, um, Cancer. There's another one here. That one. Okay. So you could meet this person on a new moon. I'm feeling. Beautiful. Um, this person is very um, connected to the moon. You could be connected to the moon as well. You could be like Cancer Moon. Aries, Sag Moon, something like that. Okay, so you're definitely going to meet them through a group of some sort. You have a common interest, so it might not even be a group. It, for some of you, a group. For some of you guys, it's just you have a common interest and boom, you meet them. So keep working at your creativity. Work through, do, basically do things that are natural to you. If you feel the need to do some artwork, go do it. If you feel the need to organise your house, do it. Like Just let your intuition guide you because I know it sounds... I'm hearing this almost sounds far-fetched, but if you can just go towards what you're passionate about, even if it's organizing your drawers, do that. Because basically you are finding out, you're, you're learning about yourself. You guys are gonna have transformation through your emotions. You're gonna feel safe with this person. Water signs are all about safety. They need safety to feel sustained. You're gonna have very a lot of safety with this person. We have the 11th house of friendships. This is about groups, social activities. It covers teams, friends, groups, society, technology, projects, and social media, as well as originality, eccentricity, social justice, rebellion, and humanitarianism. <laughs> That's a lot. So it could be the Aquarius new moon. I'm not sure when that is, but there we are going to the new Aquarian age. So basically, there's a new start in the Aquarian age, and we do have first quarter, making decisions, taking action, momentum. You will find yourself through this person you may even be interested in something you thought i was never interested in that before i met this person 
really beautiful. I love the sexual tension with this person as well. Like both of you are extremely horny, <laughs> but you, you, you can't explain it to each other. You're like, I wanna do this, 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 and this. And they're just thinking, I wanna do the exact same thing, but I don't know how to tell this person. It's like you're both sexual, but you can't, you, you don't wanna express that because you don't wanna like, you're scared of the relationship leaving you. But don't be scared guys, just be yourself. Both of you are literally reflecting the same thing. You're both like, mm, <laughs> like holding it in. <laughs> it's really funny. It's so cute. I love this card though. Look how beautiful that is. Just brand new beginnings. Keep planting those seeds guys. Keep exploring new things and um, keep setting the intentions. Also, you don't have to set intentions perfectly. You just gotta do what's natural for you. I get questions like, I don't know how to manifest. Um, what's the best way of manifesting? One of the best ways of manifesting is literally just working on your emotions because you are then being guided to your authentic self. That is your path you wanna be on, okay? Uh, and obviously it takes time and patience too. Let's see who you are. We have 16, 16 on the clock as well. Let's see who you are in this connection. It's getting like a panther or something. Oh no, we have the unicorn, nightingale. Reverse, the reverse, okay. Unicorn and the nightingale. This sounds kind of weird, but I'm hearing you're being watched and it could be through social media, I'm feeling. It feels as if, and also it could be at work. So basically you're walking around and this person's like looking at you, but you know, really subtly and you don't know it. That's what I'm feeling, okay. This person is trying to find their way. They have basically gone through a lot of connections where people have been put off by them because they're so intense. Um, they're they can basically bring up people's shadow side, which is very uh, Scorpio or Sag. Um, you are learning to embrace your, uh, I'm hearing Scorpionic side. So possibly you're a Scorpio or you're embracing the intense parts of you because this person is doing the exact same thing. Beautiful. You're learning to speak your truth. You're learning to be authentic. You're learning to be spiritual. Uh, in your own way and spirituality is just a way of life for me i see it, it's just a way of life so you are just being yourself and you could be singer you could be singer you could be a singer you could like singing um speech you're like thanks to your speech you're learning to speak your truth throat chakra um definitely about the moon like something happens with the moon this is like the lunar eclipse as well really shook you shook your energy um i'm hearing a secret will be revealed and it's it's going to be like oh, I'm hearing the universe was hiding me from you. And I'm feeling like both of you are gonna be like, I was meant to meet you. And it's like a really like fated connection, which is cute because I literally just did a reading on fated connections. So this is the relationship. Oh yes, yes, I love this card, love this card. I love this card the most. I, I mean, I love all these cards, but this is one of my faves for love readings because this is a relationship right here. This card literally represents commitment. And then we have the frog. Rain on me. <laughs> Every single time I get this card. It's just you being authentic basically in your emotions. So I'm gonna read you the fox because I love this card. I love what it represents. So I'm going to read you the fox. So let me see. So this is the earth. So bear with me while I find the fox here. Smart, strong partner or mate, wise teacher. Okay, here we go. The fox is an enchanting creature with plenty of mystique to go around. Fox personalities are skillful in business and also make great teachers. They are quick to learn and adapt well to new situations. Foxes are ideal partners as they commit to relationships for the long term and their natural charisma keeps things exciting. Fox energy helps us stay true to, to those most dear to us. When this card appears, reconnect to those you love. Foxes don't do well when they slip away. When in balance, magical, ingenious, teacher, monogamous. When out of balance, sneaky, unsure of their identity. To bring into balance partnership and connection. Boom, absolutely beautiful. So basically, you're kind of two people who are like almost like misfits. Like you have felt like you don't belong on this world because you're basically just like star CD elf fairies. <laughs> um, and you felt like you can't really be yourself. So you're learning to, um, accept all parts of you and when you come together explosions basically and i'm talking about sexual ones too um i'm seeing you guys are learning how to do something and i'm going to say it just begins with an s okay and there's water everywhere let's just say that i don't want to say the word on camera but you're learning to do that as a female you you have um, a vagina <laughs> to be able to do this um yeah you're learning to do this and just let's just say just put down towels okay guys put put down towels <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of mess right <laughs> let's have a look at this person let's see what this person's personality is like 
concentration. They are very deep, they are very intense. Love it, love, love, love it. Manipulation, criticism. Um, a secret connection. It's like you never expected to meet this person where you met them. You have an idea of where you want to meet them or how you may meet them, especially if you guys are psychic. Um, but it's not going to be like what you think it is. So basically just throw out all of your, all of your ideas of how you're going to meet them because it's a, it's a surprise girl. It may even be like a surprise birthday or something. Okay. We have sun in Aries, Mercury, uh, Leo of Leo, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini. Um, throat chakra. There's somebody who has really learned to speak their truth, be authentic. They're in the public eye. They are quite famous. Uh, they are quite well known. They want to be famous. They want to be well known. Um, they're very generous. There's somebody who's almost like a leader. They're, they're a leader of the pact. So in their friendship group, there may be somebody who um, they're just like the leader of the friendship group. The relationship's going to be ultimately love, uh, romantic. Um, this person's going to go towards you. So you don't have to try too hard to get this person. You just have to be yourself. You don't have to try really at all. You just have to be you. Um, I love how he's or she is like focusing on the star here. It's like fated. It's like this was meant to happen, girl. Like you, I'm hearing you knew this was meant to happen. Why did you, why did you doubt it? Um, the more you go into your creativity, the more you're going to meet this person. Like the closer you're going to be to them because if you're not getting a wave of creativity, by the way, guys, I'm talking about when you do get a wave of creativity and you're just like, I need to do something. That is working with that. This person I'm seeing like wore a crown in a past life or might like wearing like headdresses or wigs or something like that. Or you might wear a wig. Um, I'm just seeing like, I'm focusing on this um, headdress here and I'm seeing like a wig, uh, a wig, uh, what's it called? Where you have those heads and then you put the wig on it. I'm just seeing, that's what I'm seeing. It's like, that's where you put possibly your weave or your wig, your wig on this uh, head to kind of like when you're sleeping and things, uh, stuff like that. Especially those who have curly hair. Like, girl, I feel you. I have curly hair too. So I feel you, girl. <laughs> I've never tried a wig, but sometimes, you know, I'm tempted. <laughs> I'm freaking tempted sometimes. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you want a private reading, all my information is down below. I do have 18 plus readings available. Um, also, Crystal Shop is down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Have a lovely day. Speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So we have... Lemurian Quartz. This is anyone in need of a vacation from their thoughts. Whenever someone or something you love needs a zap of healing energy, awaken your inner wizard or witch and cast a spell with Lemurian Quartz. Escape your mind. Okay. Sorry, there's a bit of something something on there. I think it's from my candle. Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of your cards. And then we're going to have a look into the tarot. Patience. I feel like some of you guys rolled your eyes when you saw that. You're like, oh my God, not again. Okay, let's put this tarot card over here. All right. Let's move these over here. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Death. Surrender. I'm going to put these two cards up here. Let me move these over here. I love these two. They're just intense as hell. You guys have gone through so much intensity and you've been feeling really tired from the uh, energies as well. Okay. Right. Massive need to surrender, or you guys have been surrendering. Um, I'm hearing good because basically you're going for a death process. So needing to release any outdated beliefs about yourself, about other people, things like that. I love how the red is really like connected here. I love that. So with this energy, I feel like you're learning about yourself and what your needs are, especially if you are a feminine or a female, you're learning how to basically navigate in this world. Um, I do feel as if your person you're going to meet or a few people you're going to meet intimately is going to be through your soul calling. So whatever you've been here being called to do, you're going to find it and have patience with yourself if you don't know what this is, because you will get a download fully and you're going to have a look into your past lives. I feel you're going to have quite a strong call to look at your past lives. I do actually have past life readings and I know a lot of people do past life readings. So obviously if you're not, if you don't want to get one from me, I, I highly recommend getting a reading of some sort or at least having some, you know, like watching a meditation that goes into a past life. If you get drawn to that, 
I see you doing that. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be drawn to Egyptian times, like in the old days when they built pyramids. Um, you're going to be drawn to those those times and you're going to possibly realise you had a past life um, in that. So we have the death card and we have surrender. This is all about you seeing things as they are, seeing things in a new light. And with the queen, this is all about you exploring new depths, okay? And finding your purpose, basically, just ultimately finding your purpose. The death card is things need to go, okay? So if you need to exit the premises on a partnership, a friendship, do that, okay? You're being drawn to let go. I'm hearing let go and let God. So basically just trust the universe that things are gonna change for you, okay? So let's see what else we have. We're gonna pull some tarot now. I love these two cards though. You do feel like you're in a bit of a web, um, but you're gonna to start to feel more clearer quite soon, okay? In the next about three months, um, things are gonna start picking up for you and externally, you're gonna have a lot of blessings. Okay, main energy, four of wands, stability, feeling comfortable within your own skin, uh, finding the home of your dreams, or at least finding a place that you just resonate with and, and feel super comfortable with. Lots of sex in the bedroom, lots of sex in the home and I feel as if you may meet somebody when you're at home so you could meet somebody on a dating site um through the internet like any anything could be like Instagram I'm hearing like um like an avatar kind of uh thing so for those of you who are quite young though like meeting somebody on an avatar like you're like a a, a person like a you know like me's and like and emojis like you're that you're that person you're not really showing your face fully it could be even a blind date app or something like that where you don't even know who this person is but you meet them obviously stay safe guys okay just be safe um two of pentacles we have the world brand new energy we have the death card we're going to take her as well okay this is really lovely beautiful i'm just hearing answer the call like if there's something you may have a call with this person and they may suddenly call you and you're like okay i'm scared especially those who are introverted you're like oh my god this is going too fast the devil yep he's holding a big penis we love that we then have the ten of cups um i feel as if you are very introverted and you're worried that you might not find somebody or have somebody to connect with sexually because you are very introverted that doesn't matter guys you will meet somebody who is on your wavelength and it's going to be somebody who you're meant to be with um the knight of wands is showing me here that this is somebody who is very sexually interested in you we also have the eight of swords so I feel as if this person you're going to meet is very gentle. I don't see you're going to be with this person for that long. It could be a fling if that's what you're interested in. Those of you who want a soulmate connection, I do see it happening quite um, randomly. It's something that you can't predict, basically. Um, the death card is a new cycle. So you're letting go of a lot of shadow energy. So just be very kind to yourself. I do feel like you guys are feeling very impatient um, because you're going for a lot of stuff and it could be very overwhelming. I am seeing somebody in your future, but I don't feel as if it might not be next year, um, as in 2021. For some of you, it could be a friendship first and then a relationship. So that may be why I'm not picking up on like a full on sexual energy, first of all. But for those of you who just want to fling, I see that happening. If that's something you want, 100%, that you're going to find a lot of people who want to do things with you. This could be the year that you um, have sex for the first time, something like that. Um, and then we have the hermit. So you're somebody who likes to keep your private life private. Uh, those of you who'd like to share it, I see that you're learning to share it and be more open about it. I see you're going to have like a conversation with a friend about your sex life in some way. I feel as if the devil is kind of like showing you what is uh, missing in your life. So you may be feeling quite lonely, quite confused. And this is basically like the devil is here literally showing a penis. So it's basically all the things you've wanted to avoid emotionally is gonna come up straight in your face and it's gonna be like what needs to be healed. And obviously if you guys are a lot of healing work and you feel like this reading isn't really resonating with you, just take it as it resonates, guys. This is a general reading, but also I do see like a new connection coming in, but it's gonna be gradual. It's gonna be quite a slow process. And if that works for you, then that's absolutely fine. It could be as well, you're somebody who likes to rush things and this person likes to take things slow. So that's going to be almost like you're, you're learning in this uh, relationship, first of all. 
This person could most likely be an Aries. Um, this person has a very large back, um, very muscly back. They have quite muscly hands as well. I see this person be, being quite competitive. They like um, games, as in they like arm wrestling, wrestling. I'm seeing guys wrestling and tickling each other. They're very playful. They've got a lot of Aries in their chart. Um, they're very open to any type of uh, relationship in a way that they're very accommodating to you. Um, you want something done, they're going to do it with you. Um, if you are the sort of person that want, is, likes a certain style of communication, they will want to do that with you. And I'm seeing the number 22 as well. We do have two and two. I'm hearing two and two going together. So naturally you're going to be drawn to each other because you're on the same wavelength. I see you having a picnic with this person. And I also see one of you is really sexual, one of you is quite private. So I do see that whoever this person is, I feel like they're going to be really intimate with you and like whispering you in your ear, like in a public place and you're gonna be really embarrassed. It's like really cute things like that. Um, and I feel like you may take a little bit of time opening up because you have been single for quite a while, but also this might be your first time. This also might be um, the first time that you're doing something with this person and it ha you haven't been intimate for a long time. Um, so you may be a bit, little bit nervous, but when you do open up, it's going to be really lovely. The connection is really easy. And I do see this person is very similar to somebody you already knew. And it could be like um, a father figure in terms of like somebody you looked up to. They could have a very similar personality to them in the sense that they're very gentle, very nurturing, very open. And even if it's just a fling, they're going to be just really lovely to you. And I feel like if it's just a fling, it could actually lead to a relationship as well. So I'm not getting too many intense details for you guys, but I do feel like this is something that's gonna be a surprise um, and you've waited a long time for this, okay? I'm hearing, make sure you don't get caught when you're doing stuff. Make sure you have doors locked and things like that because I feel as if um, you may be quite nervous about that sort of thing. You may be like, oh, someone's gonna see us sort of thing. Not that that's anything to really worry about. I don't see you getting caught, but I'm just hearing you guys like to keep things private. So obviously, um, also take the precautions as well if you guys are new to obviously maybe taking contraception and things uh, do all the research you know make sure you're comfortable with uh, what you want to take and things like that so or what you want to do in terms of that situation so let's see who you are in this relationship yeah you're very you're in hermit mode right now you guys are very shy um, love like sexual energy doesn't always come as natural to you guys Everyone's sexual in their own way. Everyone um, asserts sex in a different way and sex creativity in a different way. You guys are very gentle. Um, you're also very nervous <laughs> with this person because it's a new connection. It's something you've never had before. This person's gonna be the asserting one. Um, extroverted, introverted. Swap them around if you feel the need to. And the relationship is gonna go, okay. I feel as if once you are established with this person, when you know yourself more with this person, you feel comfortable to be vulnerable, it's gonna happen quick. When you are learning about each other, it's gonna be quite slow and opening up is gonna be quite difficult, okay? Because it's gonna be a slow process and you're not used to doing things slowly. You want things like boom, boom, boom. And maybe because you wanna take things fast, it could be because you're nervous. Um, some people are very nervous and they do things really quickly when they're nervous, like talk fast or move fast or walk fast, drive fast, all those things. This is gonna be a very unique connection. It feels like something you've never had before. Um, it feels like I'm getting pick up in the name like David or like Daniel, something like that. I'm hearing like Ethan. Um, I'm hearing like an Egyptian name and I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm actually hearing Eli and I'm not sure if that's an Egyptian name, so sorry if that's not. Um, but I'm just picking up on Egypt as well. I'm seeing this person may have dark features. Um, very tall, tanned, um, like a slight tan, that's for some of you guys. Uh, obviously that's not for everyone, but I'm seeing this person is very Egyptian <laughs> they have, or they have Egyptian quite strongly in their DNA or they have like an Egyptian family. Um, they may have like a combination of like Egyptian and possibly African in there a little bit. It's kind of like a mix up. Every, we all have a mix up, but I feel like this person's like 50% this, 50% that, or maybe like 1% French or something like that. Um, but they, you can tell where they're from by looking at them. You can say like, oh, were you born in this country? And you're like, they're like, no, my family is from there. You know, maybe it's like their, their parents look like that. Okay, so let's have a look at this connection. It could be a Pisces, very spiritual. They do not judge at all. They're a really non-judgmental person. There's somebody, yeah, I feel like because you have Pisces and you're very, um, sen a very sensitive kind of gentle person, Pisces is the sort of person you want to you want to have in your life. Um, somebody who's very gentle. 
Um, they go by their instincts, they go by their emotions. They could be a musician. They're very nurturing. Um, basically, before you meet this person, you're going to be aligning yourself with them. So you may be interested in things you have never been interested in. You may be going away from interests that you may used to be interested in, but not anymore. Um, you could have something in within your 10th house, sorry, within your 4th house of the moon. You could have quite strong planets. You may have Ceres in Cancer. And then you also have the house of partnerships. This is very powerful. I feel that you guys are really changing out the way you interact with others. I do feel like you are learning to feel safe. This person's going to be very close to you. You will meet this person around your home, I feel. It could be you work from home and then it could be something like that. It could be that you go, you know, to a local pet shop to go buy a pet and that's how you meet them. It could be walking your dog, that's when you meet them, something like that. Um, it feels like maybe like your local pub, something, it feels like around your home. You don't really have to try too hard. Uh, I'm just hearing don't try hard, just be yourself. Um, I'm hearing you may block off your heart or you may have a lot of heart chakra energy before you meet this person. It's just your heart chakra opening, let it happen. Um, exercise is going to help this energy move through. And I see that you're going to be, you are a mother figure, I'm fearing, or a father figure. You just are very nurturing. And I saw like a flash of light. I don't know if that came up on camera, but I keep seeing like flashes of light. So I'm not sure what that's about. It might be spirit coming through. Um, but you're very receptive. You're somebody who is very like an emotional person. You go by your emotions and you're just somebody who loves to love. I'm hearing some, I love to love, <laughs> which is lovely. Okay. So let's get you a last set of cards. Let's have a look at this person and see what they're like. You may even meet this person through a family member, something like that. Or they may just feel like family when you meet them because they just feel like they feel homely. They feel safe. It feels like you've already known this person in a past life. You may even already know this person, but in a sense, if you already know them, you're going to know if they're the right one because it feels like immediate connection. Like I immediately know you. Yeah. I love this card. It's really lovely. It's just a complete utter energy of surrendering and just completely being there for you and with you and just feeling like you can just be your ultimate self with them underneath the deck. Beautiful. <laughs> Perfect card for this reading. Ultimate seductive energy. This person, um, there's somebody who says things like, I am very um, serious about sexuality. Like um, I'm, I'm hearing, I actually feel like I'm talking what this, what this person would say. This person is saying things like, you're the only person I want to sleep with for the rest of my life. Um, I'm very private about my sexual life. You're the only person who knows about it. I only want to share it with you. I'll never share it with anyone else. Things like that. They're very serious about connections. And there's somebody who, uh, they may have a child as well. You may, if you're a little bit older, say like, 22 onwards you may have a child with this person you may they may have a child as well they're very empathic they love animals they may um, be a dog walker be a vet um i'm hearing a nature enthusiast they're very rebellious they're such a pisces like i'm getting massive pisces from this group um or they have pisces quite strongly they're very dramatic or they've been for a lot of drama and they have had a lot of family drama so they may move away from home and then that's how they meet you they come into your neighborhood or something like that I feel like you may live in a small village and that's how you meet them it's kind of like there's a lack of people and you're like well I'm never going to meet anyone here and then boom they move they move and they're there <laughs> um this person you may meet through charity this person is very charitable they have a really interesting car or they love cars um when you see them you're like oh wow they have a really interesting car or they may ride a motorbike or a bike or like a bicycle bicycle sorry guys <laughs> when i get songs they literally just come out my mouth um i'm getting like acdc the police uh the qu uh, queen a lot of old kind of uh bands like that uh what else is another thing i'm hearing like i'm also hearing like busted and uh, mcfly uh in sync things like that uh, this person's really into music. They love music. They may have even been on X Factor or something. Or they might, might watch a lot of X Factor. They want a singing career. A lot of you guys want a singing career as well. Um, this person has a beautiful voice. I'm hearing the word Tom Mish. And Tom Mish is a really beautiful artist. He's a Cancerian. Um, so you guys may have that in common. You may have like loves from certain artists or groups. Um, it's something like when you listen to a song you may send songs to each other which is really cute or love notes like really classic romantic energy but i feel like you guys are the most romantic group i feel like you guys are the most kind of subtle quiet group a lot of the other groups are more dramatic and intense you guys are intense but privately okay so if you obviously want to fling i do see that happening as well i see you guys 
bringing in the masculine and the feminine. I love this, like we have the, the masculine and the feminine here, the sun and the moon, and going into the baby, which is so cute. So I do see you guys making a baby, and it may be um, an accidental pregnancy, like a not planned one. So if you guys, you know, take the precautions, uh, yeah, beautiful. But it's gonna be the baby, like it's gonna be the child that you've always wanted. I feel like a lot of you guys are very maternal. Um, so I feel like you guys are really gonna love this child so much. And you're gonna be like, wow, I didn't know what, like, what did I do before I had this child? Like, this is the most amazing human being. Um, yeah, and this person might have a big dog. I'm hearing a Doberman. I'm guessing they're quite large, large dogs. Um, or like a Husky or a Greyhound or a Great Dane, all those sort of things, Rockweiler, Rock, Rockweiler, something like that, Bulldog, all those things. So thank you so much for watching guys. Um, also look out for lions. Um, that might be like a symbolism on like sun and moons and things like that. I'm also here in the matrix. So you guys may like things like that in common. Uh, you like uh, conspiracy theories, spirit, you may be um, conspiracy theorists. Uh, you may be uh, some sort of spiritual thing. You may call yourself like a spiritual something or other, like a spiritual teacher, a healer. I'm hearing like a master, like something master, Reiki master, something like that. There may be a therapist, a healer, teacher, counsellor, all the above. They love to help. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal shop, all the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.